You buy machinery you don't need with money you don't really have to impress random strangers on the internet. Welcome to my world. In today's video I will show you how to build cheap and easy leveling feed for a freshly acquired piece of equipment. Let's go! We will need a threaded M20 rod, cut to size, 4 ice hockey books, 4 M20 washers and 12 M20 nuts. And 4 M5 capet screws. Don't forget about the capet screws. The leveling feed will basically look like this. Beginning from the bottom, each ice hockey puck will need 3 holes, a 20mm wide and 10mm deep hole from the top to guide the threaded rod, a 5mm through hole and a 10mm countersunk hole from the bottom to accommodate the M5 screw head. A M5 bolt holds the ice hockey puck in place when the machine or cabinet is lifted. You could either drill and tap the M5 hole on a lathe or do it old school with a cordless drill since concentricity is somewhat irrelevant. The M20 washer distributes the load evenly and provides a flat surface for the M20 nut to turn freely. The M20 nut is fixed permanently to the threaded rod either via welding or with a shear pin through the nut and the rod. Now the second nut is fixed to the base structure you want to level, either via welding or gluing or it's hold captive. Assembly is pretty straightforward. Put the wash on top of the book, add grease between the washer and the nut, screw on the threaded rod and add the third nut. The beauty of this design is that you can level it under load and the ice hockey puck won't turn or shift around because the threaded rod and the nut can spin freely on the washer. When your cabinet or machine is level, tighten the silver M20 nut against the top nut to secure it in place. If you want to know where this leveling feed will find use in, check out this video. As always, thanks for watching, see you next time.